Welcome to Coach on the Couch. I'm your host, Jason Zaleski, here at Marshfield Country Club. And today we're talking about Columbus Catholic softball with head coach Troy Zimmerman. Uh, coach, thanks for being here. Uh, remind us how many years you've been coaching and what in the world keeps coming back every year. Uh, it's my fifth year. Um, as other coaches say, and I the same way, is uh, the kids. You know, it's uh, the experiences with them and, and uh, watching them grow. It's, it's just uh, it's a blast building relationships. Um, it's just, uh, that's what brings me back. Uh, so, Coach, we'll, we'll talk about last year a little bit, and then we'll start to preview uh, this year's team. Uh, last year, uh, you and the girls, uh, first ever, to what I'm being told, uh, in school history, uh, softball, sectional appearance, uh, regional final championship. Uh, tell us about one or two of those memories from last year, and, and including the big playoff run that you and the girls had. Uh, fantastic run. Um, the girls deserved it. They worked hard, um, got over that hump, you know, the air, air monster, and... Uh, <laughs> In the playoffs, we played much better, and it was just great to see them finally come together. Um, as far as memories, you know, that regional final, uh, that was just an unbelievable game. You know, Alyssa Reith, my senior last year, gets cleated in the seventh inning with a runner at first and second, and uh, couldn't couldn't get the bleeding to stop, um, took her out of the game, and she refused to come out. It was, it was just, you know, stuff like that I'll never forget. It's just her toughness and not wanting to come out, um, having to put my 10th player in the game with a boot on um, in right field and uh, telling Haley we're pitching inside. <laughs> yeah, <right. laughs> so yeah, it was, it was uh, a game I'll never forget. So you had a couple of seniors last year. Uh, tell us about them and uh, what they meant to your program. Well, Alyssa Reith, um, senior, obviously a transfer from uh, Loyal. I had her for two years with COVID. I only mm -hmm. got to play, you know, have her <laughs> one year. Right. Um, fantastic leader. Uh, she'd be missed for her leadership um, and work, hard worker. Just a great young lady um, in college now, obviously, and uh, she's doing well. Yeah, all right. And, and then mm -hmm. the other one was uh, Sydney Moritz, uh, senior, mm -hmm. as well last year. And Sydney's going to point, and she is uh, going to be really missed just because of her leadership um, and, and her um, laid back um, atmosphere, attitude, I should say. And the girls just loved her. So I, I miss both of them girls a lot this year. Just got back from a trip to Florida. I played some exhibition games down there. Good chance for some team bonding. Uh, and to get some games in, uh, fields here aren't always ready on time. Uh, so tell us about that experience. So what, did, what did you learn from your, from your girls and, and your, your team um, over those last few games? Uh, I learned 88 is a lot better than 50. <laughs> um, that was the temperature we had. Girls had a blast. It was, it was a lot of fun. Um, three years in the making. Um, when I say that, you know, we had COVID and we were supposed to go three years ago and it just mm -hmm just didn't work out obviously for you know obvious reasons and uh, it's finally awesome to be able to do this and experience this with this group um, but a lot of um, thank you should be put out to the teams prior to this because they did a lot of fundraising and it, it was a lot you know and uh, to finally be able to see this happen it was really good for these girls. Um, let's talk about this year's team a little bit uh, we'll start with your conference. Um, conference is tough. Uh, you, you've had you've had Gilman make some runs uh, in conference the last few years. Uh, Nielsville's always there. Uh, Loyal Greenwood have now combined, and so you put two schools together, and you're able to, to get uh, maybe a little bit of roster uh, out of that. Um, tell us about, about your conference and you know what you think about your conference opponents and just the competitiveness of your season coming up. Um, you said it right. I mean, you know, a lot of people like during seating meetings last year, they're talking about maybe our conference not being as tough, and I'm just like, we have a tough conference. You know, Gilman. Always seems to go into deep in the playoffs. You know, you got like you had mentioned, Loyal Greenwood combined now. Nielsville is probably going to be the tops in our conference. I would predict this year they're they're got everybody back. Um, very very athletic team. So um, yeah, our conference is tough, and uh, we're going to have to really play well to do well. Yeah, and not to leave anybody out, uh, Spencer, a couple of years ago, back-to-back uh, -back sectional finals, yeah, uh, you know, yeah. and all those, we could go through the, the whole thing like that. Um, team goals, um, you've had a few practices, you, you've had the exhibition uh, games, you know, conference championship is probably in the mix. What are what do you and the girls talk about as, as far as, as team goals coming into the 2022 season? You know, it's funny, at the beginning of the year, I always have them come up with their own, you know, it's mm -hmm. just something that they put on a piece of paper, it's uh, team goals and personal goals, and then I get to read them. So it was all across the board, you know, as far as team goals, making it state, um, making it one game farther than we did last year, mm -hmm. um, winning conference. So they're all great goals, um, and I, it's good to have goals. Okay, so it makes the girls work hard, mm -hmm. you know. And, and personal goals, you know, just working on um, relationships. Um, had some want to be a first-time home run hitter this year and stuff like yeah. that. But yeah. uh, you know, it was all really good stuff. 
Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, th you know, things to work towards. Yes. And, uh, you know, personal improvement leads to team improvement. Absolutely. Often. Absolutely. Uh, okay. Uh, senior leadership. You know, senior leadership is a big thing for any team. Oftentimes, those seniors are coaches on the field, especially on game day. Um, tell us about your group of seniors this year, and what what do you expect out of them during the season? Um, you know, it's four girls that have been with me since their freshman year, so it's it's great um, that they stuck with me that long because mm -hmm. I'm not always the easiest <laughs> coach to play for. Um, so kudos to them for sticking this right. out. Uh, but I've got Autumn Vine. She plays first. She'll play a little outfield probably, and um, I'm looking for her to step up a little bit this year. I'm hoping she can secure that first base position. Um, when Haley's not pitching, I'm planning on putting her at first. Okay. Um, just kind of, so it's going to be a kind of a rotation type of thing. Uh, I have Haley Van Wy. She's a returning all-conference honorable mention player last year, playing for left. I think I might be moving Haley to right field this year. Okay. Um, great attitude, and I know she, she'll make that transition no problem. Uh, Brianna Duda was my center fielder last year. Um, looking to have her continue um, center field. Again, all-conference honorable mention player. Um, so I'm going to either have her with her speed in center or left. Um, so a lot of stuff to work out yet. And then my last senior is Janelle Holt. And mm -hmm. she played a little bit of second for me last year and then some right field. So she'll be getting her, you know, see what she can come up with and see uh, once if she gets an opportunity to get out there, see what she can do. Pitching is a big, big deal in softball. Most of the action uh, happens between the pitcher and the catcher. Uh, you happen to know your pitcher quite well. Uh, so tell us about uh, your junior in the circle. Um, Haley is obviously a th uh, two-year starter, COVID. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> so um, she... Uh, she works hard. Um, she plays a lot of travel ball, so she plays with the plover. A lot of the girls from the mm -hmm. from the um, Pacelli area, mm -hmm. Pacelli school. So it's uh, um, she's she's putting time in. Uh, she played a lot of fall tournaments, so she, she's she had a back issue during basketball season. It kind of stopped her from pitching. She was doing really well and kind of a little mm -hmm. setback. But um, like you said, catcher pitcher catcher um, to to get along. Her and Sierra are doing great. Um, once there's once we start getting you know going here, it's it's going to be fun to watch. Yep, uh, Sierra Daringer uh, at catcher, so that's the battery there. Um, you've got a good mix. You mentioned your seniors, so we talked about uh, a junior uh, a pitcher, uh, and then others all the way down into freshmen. How does how do you, how do you coach a mix like that of uh, freshmen through seniors, and then what kind of an advantage is it to have some of those younger girls in and learning from some of those older girls on the team? Oh, definitely. Um, you know, Florida was big because when I took 14 girls down, we have 17 on team, 14, they made it. When we went down, I told them that every girl's going to play because I'm not going to have these girls travel thousands of miles right. and just sit there and watch. Right. So every freshman played. And it was just good to kind of get their toes, you know, a little bit in the sand there and, and, and get right in yeah. there and uh, um, put them into action and see what's going on, you know, and, and seeing how they reacted. Um, there's some nerves, which is very, very mm -hmm. much expected. So mm -hmm. it was uh, kind of neat to see, and um, the the older girls were really, really good with them, and you know, kind of coaching them through it. So um, I'm ex I expect big things from some of my freshmen this year. Home games are played at the Marshfield Fairgrounds. Uh, road games at various locations around Central Wisconsin. Uh, it's important for people to come out and support these girls and cheer them on in person. Uh, tell us about that a little bit. And you know, everything is everything's good, right? Get down, bring a chair, or whatever. Just get down to the field. Uh, tell us why that's important for people to come and support these girls in person. It, it always is. It's um, who wants to play in front of four people? You know, yeah. it, it's it was great to see our playoff run last year. And if it, okay. if you don't think that fans make a difference when you come to a playoff game and you have that many people there. Uh, yeah. The girls just absolutely loved it. So yeah. to to be at a at a sectional game with the amount of fans that we had here, that was it was really really special. And you know, I hope I hope we can get as many fans down just to a regular season game because, like you had said, it, it makes a difference. All right, Coach, we'll, we'll kind of let you off the hook with this one. Um, regardless of what's on the scoreboard, so we're thinking you know first second inning, the people are there, they're watching you and the girls play. Regardless of what the scoreboard says, how will the people know that things are going according to Coach Zimmerman's plan today? Well, if you don't see veins popping out of my neck, um, <laughs> everything's going really, really well. Um, it, it's just, you know, watching watching the game. And again, defense is going to be my focus this year. And it, it was last year, and it, it didn't go well in the beginning of the season, you know. And some people say, wait, we just didn't bat well. Was, no, we really hit well last year as a team. Mm -hmm. um, my best hitting team that I've had so far. Mm -hmm. um, it was just the defensive end that we struggled with. And um, we're doing more. Um, you know, the mind stuff this year in practice and trying to get them over that hump. And I'm hoping it really pays off. 
Excellent. Well, Coach, we're really looking forward to it. Hopefully you can find a dry field here real soon yes, yes. Uh, and get out and, and, and play. Uh, guys, come on down and watch the girls play this year. Uh, many of the games are available uh, live at Zaleski Sports. But number one mission, get down to the field and watch these girls play. Coach, uh, best of luck this year. Thank you, and thank you for the coverage. You got it. Uh, more Coach on the Couch coming up next.